One of the keys to consistent filtration performance is good service practices. With this in mind, the Donaldson Company has prepared these step-by-step -step servicing guidelines. Donaldson spin-on filters have pictograms to define the service maintenance steps. Let's take a brief overview of the Donaldson lube filter pictograms. Do not use tools. Clean the filter base. Fill with oil. Lubricate the gasket. Hand tighten. Complete tightening according to the instructions printed on the filter. And these are the various global recycle symbols. Check the new filter you will be installing for any shipping and handling damage. Do not install a dented filter since the canister has been weakened at that point. When changing fluids, take care to use clean rags and clean transfer equipment, such as fluid nozzles and funnels, to minimize the ingress of contaminants to the lube system. Here are some how-to tips for proper oil and filter changeouts. First, let's look at the proper steps for installation of spin-on lube filters. Before installation, unscrew and remove the old filter. Remove the old filter gasket if still attached to the base. Wipe the filter mounting base or head with a clean cloth. To install a spin-on lube filter, if manufacturer recommends, fill the new filter with oil on the dirty side. That means don't pour the oil down the clean oil center tube. Apply a thin film of clean motor oil to the new filter gasket. Do not use grease. To avoid cross-threading, line up the filter threads to the mounting base or head carefully. Screw the new filter on until the gasket contacts the base. Follow the instructions on the filter for final tightening torque specifications. Check the gasket of the new filter to be sure it is properly seated in the groove. Note that not all filters require the use of tools for changing. After installation, be sure the oil reaches the full level on the dipstick. Start the engine and check for leaks. Correct the source of leaks, if any are observed. Shut off the engine and recheck the oil level. Add oil if needed. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Inspect the new filter. Remove the used filter and gasket. Clean the filter mounting head. Pre-fill the filter. Lubricate the filter gasket. Line up the filter threads to the receiver. Install new filter per instructions. Check lubricant level. Start engine and check for leaks. To properly install cartridge lube filters, follow these steps. Before installation, loosen the cap and remove the cap cartridge or element assembly. Drain and dispose of the used cartridge and remove the old gasket from the cap. Dispose of both in accordance with local disposal guidelines. Clean the housing seal area and cap with a clean cloth. To install the new cartridge, first fit the new gasket into the cap. Place the new filter cartridge into the cap. Reinstall the cap with the filter element and tighten the cap to its proper torque. After installation, be sure the oil reaches the full level on the dipstick. Start the engine and check for leaks, and monitor the oil pressure gauge to ensure proper oil pressure is developed. Shut the engine off and recheck the oil level, add oil if needed. Let's summarize the service steps presented. Remove the housing cover. Remove the used filter and gasket. Drain and dispose of the used cartridge and the old gasket. Clean the housing seal area and cap. Fit the new gasket into the cap. Install new filter per instructions. Replace the filter cap. Check lubricant level. Start engine and check for leaks. Along with the service steps, here are some troubleshooting tips. This is a simplified engine lube circuit in normal operation with the pressure regulatory valve open and operating normally. Note now that the pressure regulating valve in the lube circuit has become stuck in the closed position, 
resulting in much higher than normal pressure being exerted, causing the filter to dome at the end. Here is a photo of a filter doming because of excessive pressure built up in the lube circuit. Unnaturally high lube system pressures have inverted this tap plate, and this filter has developed a vertical crack indicating pressure fatigue. If you should notice any of these telltale signs of excessive pressure in the diesel engine lube circuit, it will be your opportunity to solve developing problems before additional damage is caused. This servicing information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or equipment manufacturer.